What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be talking about is how to use pip to install any module you want even if it's not included in the simple like PyPy package index. So first I'm going to show you how you would install something if it is in the Python package index and if it's not I'll show you how to install that as well. So for things like 64-bit versions of your favorite modules like NumPy uh, you have to get them elsewhere uh, and then a lot of custom modules may not be hosted up on Python package index. So anyway, to start, uh, anyone who's using a newer version of say Python 3 is going to have pip installed. It just came with your installation. So to use it, what you're going to do is go to your start bar and if you don't have it, I have it right here, but if you don't have it, just type in cmd and that will bring up this program. So you can click on that and this is your command prompt. Obviously if you're on Linux, uh, you can open up bash and you can open up a shell if you're on you know Mac OS and all that so basically get to your uh, bash shell command prompt whatever you want to call it and uh, you're ready to use pip now a lot of people especially if you just have a single installation of Python you should be able to get away with just typing pip install and then the module of choice so say you want matplotlib you could do this now this is not going to work for me well I'll hit enter but it's going to give me a big fat error sure enough uh, and the reason for this is um, because of my uh, I'm using 64-bit Python but anyway that would normally work if you're on 32-bit but I will be talking about you uh, folks who are on 64-bit so you can do that now the other thing you'll notice is this try to install for Python 2.7 while I'm using Python 3.4 primarily, or maybe you're using 3.4 but you wanted pip install 2.7, or you're, you've got, you know, like pip is referencing Python 2.7 but you want to use Python 3. So what do you do? Well, if you want to reference the specific version, you would give the full path to Python's pip. So c colon slash Python 34 with a capital P slash scripts with a capital S and it's plural and then pip and then you could say install matplotlib. Now again, at least this one, it's happy mostly because it's up, it's up to date. So there is no problem, but I'll show you how I can at least make mine angry. And you can see that you can hit the up arrow and instead of inst well with install, you can add another parameter because I already have matplotlib, but say you want to upgrade it. Well, you can see right here, you just add the argument of upgrade. So pip install dash dash upgrade. Now again, this is going to make my computer mad, but it probably won't make yours mad um, because, well, unless you have 64-bit um, NumPy, except NumPy is what's going to throw this one for a loop. But anyway, up until this point, yes, it, it works. And so this, you see this common error. If you're using 64-bit Python, this is very familiar to you. Um, and it might be familiar to you even if you're not using 64-bit, but you know, this is a very common problem. And basically, you have to update your version of Visual Basic if you're getting this error. And there might be several reasons why you either don't want to or you can't update Visual Basic uh, or you can't figure it out or whatever. I'm not going to really get into that, but if you're getting this error, uh, that's kind of your problem is you're trying to install something that either isn't supported or you don't have the proper C compiler and so on. So now, how do we handle that problem as well as how do we handle uh, getting a package that isn't, say, on Python package index? So all the modules that are supported by pip, like as in just typing pip out and getting that module, are on here, pypy.python.org. And this is the Python package index. Now, if just anybody makes a package, they can't necessarily upload it or get it on Python package index uh, without at least a little bit of a wait. So there might be packages that just aren't here. There might also be, because this is basically where all the official sources of packages are going to be, but some of the official sources of package, i.e. NumPy, are just simply not available in 64-bit. So we have to get around that. Now, my website of choice in the past to get around this, uh, looks like I've misplaced it. Let me uh, open that up real quick. Um, has been this unofficial binary source. And I liked it because it had .exe files, super simple. Um, but now he's moving mostly to wheel files, which is kind of moving along with the times. A lot of people are moving to wheel. Pip now installs wheel files. So what the heck is a wheel file? Uh, so, for example, let's say we, we want NumPy because that was throwing me for a loop. So I just do a control F to find NumPy and here is NumPy. Click on that and that takes you to NumPy down here. 
Now, which one do I need? Well, let's read what this says. It has basically NumPy MKL. That's part of NumPy, right? That's This is it, NumPy-MKL. Then you have CP34. CP stands for CPython, which is the default version of Python, not to be confused with Cython. So CPython version 3.4. None here, don't worry about that. And then I'm on Windows AMD 64 because I'm on 64 bit. If you were on 32 bit, you could get this, but pip install NumPy should work for you. But again, there might be some packages that are not available uh, using just straight pip and then just a package name that doesn't exist on your computer. So if that, if pip install fails, you can come here or download the wheel file from whoever the producer of your, your module or package is. So here I'm going to download uh, NumPy. I've already actually got it downloaded, but you just need to click it and here it would come. Now, the only problem that you might have, well, at least with this website, like some websites you might be able to, especially if it's on GitHub, you can just wget and then you could install it really simply. This one, I'm not really sure how to W get it because I think, I'm pretty sure, like if I just append this like here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, like I won't download it. So I don't know what the link is and if you right, right click and say copy link address, it's just, it's empty, it's just JavaScript. So anyway, not too sure how to get the specific link there, but obviously that's possible on most websites or many websites. So here's the wheel file. And if we go to computer and I click on downloads, here it is, okay? So now, what do you do once you have the wheel file? Well, what you can do is, at least on Windows, you can hold the left shift, right click, and you can open the command window there. There might be a shortcut like that on Linux and Mac OS and all that. I don't know it. If you do know it, feel free to post it in the uh, description and let people know. But anyways, so here we are. I'm in this downloads. And then now I can type the same thing as I did before. So I would say C colon slash uh, Python 34 scripts pip install. And then I, you can either change the name of this, but you should be able to just do nu tab. And that should just finish out the whole file for you. Hit enter. And then now this is going to download and install NumPy for me. And that's it. Simple as that with wheel files. Now, um, that's basically it with pip install. If you're having any problems, feel free to leave a comment below. But that should be it. Um, I know that it's sometimes a pain whenever, like, you know, the download and installation methodologies change. But this is definitely better uh, than before. So for a while, it was setup.py or pip or... Uh, like you could use setup tools, which kind of worked in with um, setup.py files. And all this. It was a huge mess. And then it became the case that pretty much everyone had setup.py. So that was the method I always used. And then now it's getting a little easier with uh, pip install. So I think that is the future. That's kind of the way that everyone's going. So hopefully it works out for you. So again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support of the subscriptions. And until next time.